here we are, June 1st, 2024. Yep, new season is upon us. No, not fire season, not tourist season. I mean, it is fire season, so I guess that would be a correct answer. And uh, not summer, definitely not winter or spring. It's actually hurricane season today. Woohoo, we made it. It's a little breezy today. So excited, hurricanes. Yeah, we still got half of our tree missing from uh, Hurricane Ian there. All these broken branches up there. Splayed a couple widow makers hanging up there still. So yeah, not too terribly hot today. We almost got a little rain yesterday, passed right to the north of us. And to the south, Fort Myers got rain. Today's raining up in Tallahassee right now, I believe. Looks like they got some heavy thunderstorms moving through there. Man, really, a lot of noise from the construction across the street. Almost killed this aster plant again. I had to drag it over here. Forgot to water it for a day or two. And I had it flooded. I had a lot of water on it. Sucked it all up, went dry, and uh, all these leaves started turning brown yesterday. But uh, got some more Fatali peppers coming on there. Oh, and this one's looking bad. It's got a, it had a bug bite or something, a little hole in it. So it's gotten a bad spot. I should probably just pick it off of there. Let the other ones grow because it's not going to. So there, my first Fatali pepper, chocolate Fatali. Looks like a little flying saucer, I think. Anyways. Uh, everything else is looking great. I had to put a little uh, ant treatment on these the other day. I put some diesel fuel around there. So uh, they're looking really good. Seems they like diesel fuel. Diesel fuels are organic. It's from the earth. I'm pretty sure. Look it up. This one's looking really good. That's a uh, ghost there. It's one of the first ones I put in the bag. Really huge. And these are two red uh, primotales, and this is a, uh, uh, uh oh, I forget what that is. I think that's a ghost. Or wait, hang on, I got it in here. Chocolate ghost. Uh oh, there's some ants in there. See that? You look at, see those ants behind there? You're gonna have to put a little diesel fuel down in there. All right, so you get your little foil cap here full of diesel fuel, and you come down in here and you gotta pour that where it's gonna get on to where those ants are. Ah, it's dribbler down in there. Hang on, let me use my other hand. So yeah, and they're I, they're actually all the way down on the inside of the bag. So I just sprinkled a little bit of uh, diesel fuel on the outside. They'll dissipate in a few hours. It's not gonna hurt the plants at all. The um, worms don't even seem to mind it at all. I've dumped, uh, well not dumped, but I've sprinkled diesel fuel in my worm bins before. It came back, figured, you know, I wouldn't see any worms in there. They're right up at the top in the diesel fuel. They didn't even mind it at all. I think they like diesel fuel a lot more than the uh, ants. So my tray of uh, teenagers here, I guess you'd call them, though these are all looking great. Uh, got them over here in the shade. Everything's turned around 100%. Uh, they were just starting to burn up over there in the other spot where I had them. But they're looking really good now. And especially my uh, chocolate primatale, or this might be a gold. No, this is a chocolate. It's starting to get more leaves. And the other primatales I've got over in the shade, they're doing a whole lot better. The primatales do not like a lot of sunlight. I'm... I'm uh, surprised to learn I thought it would have been uh, you think oh the hotter the pepper the more sun the more heat the more you know extreme it needs to be it's like no the I think the primatales like it really shady and not as hot I don't know is there any other primatale growers out there the, that uh, can t say what works best for them I it's hard to get any information on them and all peppers aren't the same so ooh, wow look at that thing I got one over here, this little, now this is a chocolate reaper, look at that little tail on, man those are just so cool, ooh, ooh, these are starting to get some color, 
Oh man, I hope they don't get I hope they don't get attacked by any bugs or anything. I got one over here. Where did it go? This one right here. Oh, I might get a good shot of this in the in the light today. Let's see if we can. This is a really Yeah, this could be a Carolina Reaper. It's like the second pepper on this plant, but look at the texture. Look at the Man, it's like I want to put this thing under a microscope and go in and look at that. That is just, see how close we can get to it, see if you can see it. The just incredible, the tucks, the folds, the bumps, the thorns, the horns. I don't know, I just find them really visually fascinating. Look at the other side of it too. I mean it's just they are such a cool looking pepper. And again I don't I think that's a I think that's a chocolate reaper. It's labeled not sure. It's from last year about the same as all these other chocolate reapers. Uh, so I think it might be a chocolate reaper. We'll, we'll see. I don't see any tails on them. They don't have a tail, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're not a reaper. So, I guess that concludes our hurricane season report for today. Over and out.